Rachel with Koa. Today he and I are going to be reviewing Parkit. Um, I remember this is one that Koa was really good at. It's been quite a while since we've worked on it. So I want to just do a review with him and um, if he's doing really well, we're going to try to step it up a bit like doing longer distances and off leash and longer stays with him. So. Remember, park it is a command that you can use, like if you have people come on over to the house, anything like that. Um, and you have a designated area for Koa to go when you want him out of the way, and he does um, a sit or a down stay in that area. Now, it really helps if you have like a bed or a towel laid out for him. So I have these mats set out that are nice and cushy. It's a differentiated area, so Koa knows where to go. Now it's really important that you don't move that, um, that bed or towel for him because every time you tell him to park it, you want him to know exactly where to go. And so even if you are doing it when there are a lot of distractions around, Koa will know exactly what's expected of him and so that will help him succeed a little bit more. So I'm going to start off by using a treat and a leash to guide him to where I want him to go. I'm going to bait him up into a sit and stay because I know he's stellar at that. So, here we go. I have a little bit of a treat. Come on. Park it. Goes. He 
has the freedom. I'm going to show him his leash, toss it, show him that he's not on it. Koa, park it. Good job. 
stop going there. So um, that's because he's really familiar with his leash. He gets really excited about it. I think you have a similar response at home since you have, you know, his bed, his area. So that will be a little bit more near and dear to him than just these mats. But as long as he doesn't get too excited thinking he's going somewhere, you could, you know, to help him practice, you could put his leash on that bed and tell him to park it. It did a really good job of getting him over there. He just needed a little bit of help actually sitting. Another thing you could do is if he had another leash, maybe um, hook the two of them together so they're super long. Come on, come here. If you had one person, the handler, telling him to park it from this distance, sit, or sit, stay. You could have the other person with the leashes linked, so they could be back here. So the handler, the first person says park it, and the second person doesn't draw a lot of attention to themselves, just kind of pulls on the leash to guide him in this direction. And so hopefully just getting him kind of kick-started like that, Cole will get to where he's supposed to be and hopefully stop there. So that's something else you could try, but he is doing a really good job. This is Rachel and Cole, we are working on Park It.